That we love you lots and you are so special to us. Come on, Greg. <laughs> and you're kind and generous and you're very clever and intelligent and you're very capable of being independent and all those good things. And what else was that, darling? <laughs> <laughs> and you are such an amazingly generous hearted human, always thinking of others, always organizing good times for others. And I hope that you have an incredibly special birthday with lots of love, and I hope to see lots of your photography everywhere, because yes, you're amazing. Please. Yes, please. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Love you. Lots of love, and pizza oven coming. Hello, Livia. I just want to say something for you for your birthday. My uh, memories with you, since when you are small, uh, the one that I remember is the funniest thing is um, we're having a shower in the rain together with your brother and sister, uh, Finn and Georgia. And the time they is pouring rain and then we go around to your room and then you put your dogs on. And then we go out outside the house and we're having a shower in the rain with the thunderstorm and lightning. So we don't care as long as we have fun in the rain to have a shower in there. So I hope that you remember that we're in that uh, in Seven Road. So uh, that is the memory. Memory is the best that I remember with you guys. So that's the one I treasure most. Okay. So anyway, happy birthday to you, and I. We'll sing for you, your birthday, in the video. Okay, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, Livy. And I will try to sing again that Tagalog song, Maligayang Kaarawan. Maligayang kaarawan, maligayang maligaya, maligayang kaarawan. Okay, that's all, Evie. Have fun in your birthday. Love you, miss you. Bye. Happy birthday, Olivia. Hey, you beautiful creature. I love your warm, warm, warm heart. And your lovely presence, which just reaches every corner of wherever you are, just reaches into every corner, the room you walk into. Very special. It's a lovely, you're really with people, and I've just really appreciated your, like a big sister to Mila, <laughs> as she navigates things, and you're just there. Yeah. Popping in some lovely words of encouragement and just being with you, you're just there, which is lovely. I love your creativity, the amazing eye you have for capturing images, photography. Um, wow, that trip to India, I just saw a few of the photos. I think that's your ability, that lovely warmth and the ability you have just to be with others and to be in your surrounding and capture those moments for us to feel like we're there too. And look, this photo you gave to Mila, super special, it captures her. <laughs> 
tongue hanging out and beautiful mischief in life. Um, thank you. And I love the values that you live by and you seek work in, you seek to do in the world. I just think they are amazing. And those will just lead you wherever you need to be. So I have a memory of you and it's going round to Beaconsfield Street and it was during COVID and you were looking after Finn and it was amazing. You were just this big sister and you and Todd were there and actually there was all this tie-dye gear around. You were making tie-dye t-shirts with Finn it was just like we're in the middle of this workshop and I just thought wow what an amazing caring person you are and you really gave so generously to Finn through that hard time mum and dad were not, not able to get home because of COVID and you were holding your fort Holding the person. I'm gonna sing this. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new world. It's a bold world, it's a new world for me, and I'm feeling good. And it's for you, a new, bold, sunny world. Thank you, Olivia. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, happy birthday, Olivia. In a weird way, I feel like you are a predictor of my life, because everything you do, I seem to do like a year later. So the fact you're turning 30 means that I too will be turning 30 soon. Um, <laughs> one of my favorite things about you is how uh, you always see the positive in like every situation. You always are so calm and sort of like willing to just like make the most out of everything. I feel like I've never seen you once just like tripping for no reason. It's very, very impressive. Um, other thing I love about you is how much you love food, like good food. Um, and it sounds weird, but has anyone ever told you how incredibly well spoken you are? Like you're very, you have a very clear accent and you enunciate every single word fantastically well. I don't know why this is like such a distinct memory, but for some reason it's just completely stuck in my head um, of you. One time when we were at Campbell's Beige and you were making like tomato sauce for pasta and you're putting anchovies into them and passionately telling me about how the anchovies like just kind of melt away and you never see them. But you had this jar of anchovies you got at the supermarket, and like it looked packed full. Um, but then you took off the lid, and it turns out they had packed them like in a ring, just like around the edge of the glass. And so, like, the jar was like 80% water, basically. Um, and you were hella mad about it. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's just like so stuck in my brain. No idea why, but such a, such a, I don't know, human memory in my mind. Anyway. Happy birthday, lots of love. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you uh, hope you have a birthday cake. See you soon. Happy birthday, Liv. I just wanted to list off some things that I love about you and um, share a memory. So one of the things I love about you is your beautiful eye for photographs. You know, so many times in my life we've been walking somewhere or doing something and you'll just kind of see this this shot but I, I didn't see it and you can just take it so beautifully and really capture the moment and capture at least what I'm feeling and I just think that's such a special skill that you've you've worked on um yeah one of the other things I love about you is how resourceful you are you always seem to you know if we're if we're trying to go somewhere or doing something you're the woman with a plan you know what to do and you're good at delegating, you can really get a team from A to B. 
And the third thing I love about you is your dance moves, which actually leads me on to the memory. I remember, I don't know how long it was ago, ago it was now, but we were, it, it was a New Year's, it was a New Year's and we were all dancing around and you managed to get like a whole group of people to start doing this, this thing where, I don't, I, I can't even re remember exactly what the rules were, but it was kind of uh, organized, again, organized woman, organized dance move circle and it was so fun and it made me it made me feel like i was doing jump jam or something again and yeah that's just that's just a lovely memory of you hope you're having a lovely birthday happy birthday to Liv, our beautiful long-limbed gazelle-like creature beautiful inside and out um just wish you a very happy birthday for your 30th uh it's been an auspicious 30 years and uh hopefully another 60 years to come for you was filled with all sorts of adventures. Um, the qualities that I love about you are your, is your kindness. Uh, you engage directly with people on a very genuine level. Um, you're a family photographer and historian and we all absolutely love that. Uh, you're an advocate for human rights and particularly women's rights. Uh, you are um, uh, and I'm just going to just stop there because I forgot what to say but anyway Happy birthday, oh, geopolitically aware, that's the one I wanted to say, and you educate us all. Um, so happy birthday, wonderful love, um, just uh, all my love. Olivia, my love, you're 30, I can't believe it. We've had such a wonderful 30 years together, and I can't wait for the next 30, and the 30 after that. You're the life of the party, with a beautiful nature, kind soul, um, and I couldn't imagine my life without you. Happy 30th, lots of love from Sienna, Alan and I. Happy birthday, Liv. I hope you have a wonderful day. This is such a lovely idea of Georgie's, but I just wanted to say that I really appreciate how kind and thoughtful you are. You always think about other people, but you're also a really bright spark and have such a joy of life. I've got lots of wonderful, lovely memories of you. Um, pony club camps and uh, the time you came and visited in Dunedin but more recently when you came and visited in Christchurch and I really needed a friend at the time and I'm grateful that you were there um, you might not have known at the time but it was special and I'm thankful for that I hope you have a really wonderful day you absolutely deserve it and we all love you so much so thank you Happy birthday. Hey. Oh. Video? Yep, it's on. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Libby. Happy birthday to you. Woohoohoo! Happy 30th. Happy Saturn return. Hope you have a wonderful day. Lots of love. Missing you lots. Say, Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. These are our friends who've come to wish you a happy birthday. Uh, happy you day, Olivia. First thing, <laughs> you give yourself pause when you're speaking to somebody else and you take this moment before you decide what you're going to say and I've always loved that in you. Second thing, <laughs> you're so generous. You've saved my bacon with that mercy dash, you know what I mean, for mum and for myself. <laughs> That was too early. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you, I love the feminism that you post on Facebook. It expands and Brave New Worlds me. And, and I so appreciate having this in my own fun. No, thank you so much. Now, two beautiful memories. The first one is watching the grin on your face as you were filming all the cousies doing Mum's Project. And with Jules also cuzzy and the second one is just taking you up when you're about 10 or so both of both you and Georgie up to the top of Mangafo Mount Eden and getting you to do roly polies such glee hey Olivia happy 30th oh my gosh you look so big and it's so cool three things that I love about you are your straightforwardness. I really admire that and yeah, slay. And your compassion and your sense of fun 
and you're generally an awesome human so it's kind of hard to pick um, and favorite memory I kind of have a jumble um, when we were all looking for Julian's wedding ring <clears throat> at Domaget's house that was fun it felt very nice and coming together -y. and filming um, for Domaget's painting when me and Mila and Arlo were um, painting the cool abstracty like sea thing that was cool and yeah just generally you being there at Christmases and family gatherings because you're a bean and I love you <laughs> have a sleigh birthday you are awesome Olivia Bartlett, happy 30th birthday. Thanks. I'm kidding, I brought stuff to read you. I found um, this letter that you wrote to me in January 17th of 2016, and I wanna read you a little bit of it for your birthday, because I can't be there. Um, so here we go. Dear DJ Wuton, rabbit, cow, whatever animal you wanna call yourself nowadays. So I was sitting at my desk at a shitty job I'm doing. I work at McDonald's and thought, hey, I'm gonna write DJ Wutan a letter and maybe I'll be able to get it through his bodyguards, work out my connections and get him to see this letter. So if you're reading this now, fuck yes. I've literally been obsessed with you since you released your first song on SoundCloud. I thought you were God. Then you changed your name to Rabbit and I realized the true genius you are. Realizing that if you change the word Rabbit to Rabbit, it would make you more indie was literally the best idea in the world. I love you. I can't believe how famous you are now. It's mind blowing. All the songs you have made in the past few years have been huge hits. And now you're touring the world, producing incredible songs for the top artists of the moment. And now you're one of the most respected producers in America. It's insane. I hope you take a moment out of your time to soak in everything that has happened to you since you got your first number one hit. Because trust me, it doesn't happen to everyone. 
So back to the reason I wrote this letter, DJ Wutan, I was wondering if you would marry me. I know it's a long shot, but I'm basically your number one fan in the world. I'm so obsessed with you that your manager even put a restraining order against me. Crazy, right? You better tell him that I'm not crazy and that I, and that I just love you. Because I literally know everything about you, have American citizenship, and would make the best wife. Here's my phone number, 69696969. Cool number, right? So anyways, thanks for taking the time to read this, and I hope you get back to me soon. Love always, your number one fan. I want to marry you. So I just want to get back to you now, after eight years, and say, yeah, totally. Let's get married, you know? Let's, what are we waiting for? Also, I think I threw up on this. Like, you gave it to me on a night out, and then you threw up on this. I feel like it's because I used to get annoyed at you because you wouldn't respond to sex messages, and you, like, wrote me, like, a letter. It's pretty romantic. Anyways, I wrote a song for you for your birthday. Um, because I am famous now, so, you know, like, this is worth a lot of money. Here we go. Thank you. Yeah, happy 30th birthday. Congratulations for reaching this milestone. And I hope you're doing well in New Zealand and I'm missing you lots. A um, few things that just make me think that you're truly amazing are despite our lack of keeping in touch, every time I see you, it's like we never stop talking. You're always energetic, full of joy, and having an amazing ability to make everyone feel comfortable around you. There's not many people who say it as it is. I can still see the glass half full. Um, I swear we've had so many laughs together, but perhaps my favorite is one you may not remember. Um, it was one where I had taken a taxi to school because I had missed the bus, and I saw you there walking to school in a hurried fashion as usual, trying to make it on time. But what you didn't realize was that you're, you may have forgotten to do your skirt zip up. So I just remember what driving by and seeing this fluorescent orange underwear. Recognizing it was you, I uh, asked the taxi to stop and we drove together to school and I made sure to let you know before we walked in so no one else knew. Um, but jokes aside, I'm so grateful to have gotten to know you, to have seen you briefly in London and to continue to be lucky to call you my friend. Happy birthday and I hope to get to see you again, whether that's in London or New Zealand. All the best. Happy, happy birthday, Liv. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful birthday. Third decade of your life. Woo, 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 woo. Hope this year is as wonderful and fabulous and magical as you are and that it brings you everything that you want. Success and happiness and productivity and adventures and really only wonderful things. Um, okay, I'm supposed to say three things I love about you. Um, there's just far too many because you are fabulous and positive and love adventures and kind and generous and helpful and sweet and just freaking awesome so i'm sorry that's more than three the list would go on and on and on but i think i'd get in trouble my favorite memory again too many memories to have um to say i should say um the first thing that came into mind was when we had to run from the popo <laughs> Do you remember that? Um, I won't tell the story now because I don't know who's watching. But that time, um, alongside so many other ones. And the way you've impacted my life is too big to say here um, because it's in so many different ways, big and small. But just your positivity and the, the desire to go out and try new things and put yourself out there. Um, and just your love, your love of life. Um, and I love you. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful birthday and celebrating with you in style. We'll have a shot for you and sending you a big birthday hug. Happy birthday. Hey, um, Liv, happy birthday, happy 30th. Um, welcome to the club. <laughs> All 30 now. Um, so we've been asked to share um, some things about you and how we feel about you. Um, and uh, I don't know, I feel like we've always been able to share everything from, you know, really difficult things all the way to which vibrators are best to use. <laughs> and um, you've just been such a beautiful presence in my life all through high school and 
and now as we're fully adult <laughs> and I'm so happy that we're still friends and that we get to catch up now and then and just have these really beautiful wonderful moments together um, and I can't wait to see you again sometime in the future I'm sure we'll arrange something I'll have the best 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 time and the best celebrations you really deserve the world um, I love you so so much sending you many many hugs and kisses bye happy birthday Livy for me and Louie who's busy watching pigeons <laughs> um I just wanted to say that I'm very glad to have had you it's such a big part of my life especially in the past year and I will really really treasure all of our memories in London and I know it's not been the easiest year but I really just love that you find the sense of humor in everything and you're always up for still you know doing anything having a good time um and no matter what you're going through you really do love life and that's very infectious and such a nice energy to be around and i really miss having you here so you know hopefully your future plans include us <laughs> um but no getting to 30 is a huge huge achievement and i hope you're very proud on reflection of everything that you've done because you should be Love you and miss you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Olivia. Happy birthday, Livy. Um, I love you so much. You've always been a big sister to me from the days that I would watch you pre-drink to the days that I would literally wax you as a 10 year old. Um, you've been such an amazing friend to my sister, but also me and I miss you so much. Hope to see you soon, and I can't wait to see you celebrate your 30th in style. Olivia, oh my God, where do I begin? Um, I think I was asked to say a favorite memory with you, and I just think there are way, way, way too many. We've had so many days that we've spent together, so many nights, um, but a couple of my favorite memories definitely have to be, I remember when we were in year seven and eight, and nine even, we used to get chaperoned, and go and hang out at Pacific Place together, go to the cinema, um, have dinner, maybe even go to H&M and try on different clothes for uh, the ugliest outfits we could come up with for each other. And then um, obviously also our my trip visiting you a couple of times in Sydney. Um, that was just so much fun. So I love you so much. I'm so happy to be your best friend. I'm so happy to call you my best friend. And I hope you come back to London because I really miss you. And my weekends are empty without you. So happy 30th, my love. And See you soon. I hope you enjoy Australia and you have the best 30th year not just birthday and i can't wait to celebrate with you when you come back to this side of the world i love you we love you happy 30th birthday Liv! i can't believe we're turning 30 it's literally crazy sending you so much love on your 30th birthday um it's been a wild ride we've known each other obviously since we were in year four like how old i don't even know how old we were then like maybe six no it can't be six like seven eight i don't even know but it's just, it's crazy. Like we're 30, 30, 30 thriving. I know we obviously don't see each other, speak to each other every day, but you know, you're one of those people who I always have such a warm place in my heart for. I know that if I ever needed anything and I hope you know that if you ever needed anything, I'd always be there. And you know, it was so great every time seeing you in London. And now that I'm in Sydney, Hopefully, when you are back in New Zealand, we get to see each other again. Um, you know, it'd be so great to be reunited. It's been so long. But every time we spend time together, it is literally like no time has passed. Um, you're just such a light and great vibes, warm person. And I always miss hanging out with you so much. Oh, God. Like, Georgie, Georgia asked me uh, for a favorite memory. And I like... I, like there's always one that like sticks out in mind it's when we used to go to like, like I can't even think where it was in Hong Kong to get you know get um those like photo booths and we used to just like add all those like little effects on them and get all dressed up and dolled up to have like a little photo shoot in those little photo booths 
And then also that time we had a party at the cricket club and we all, and it's that photo that I sent you on Instagram and I was wearing like a purple top that said like good girls gone bad. But um, God, yeah, I mean the formative years of our lives. It's just, it's crazy to think that we're like still in contact and it's so wonderful. Sending you so much love. Happy 30th birthday. And I really, really hope to see you soon. Sending so much love. Happy birthday, Libby! I hope you remember, but this was one of the first songs um, we had a rap battle on. I think it was year eight or nine. Um, it was the phase where we were all dancing on tables uh, in our lunch break. But on to better things. Happy, 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 happy birthday! I love you so much. And um, just wanted to tell you how much I appreciate you. I love your positivity, I love your curiosity, and your just love for adventure, um, no matter the place, the person, the type of food, um, you're always curious and down to try anything really. Um, you're also the most supportive person, I don't think you will ever stand in someone's way, you'll give the best advice and just be, you know, the most caring person. Um, I think... Coming back to the rap song, <laughs> my favorite memories with you um, have to be Island School um, from cutting our arm hair in math class, <laughs> I still have it, um, to dyeing our hair red um, where it kind of went ginger um, to some stool conversations, like poo conversations. Um, I wrote down the list. Um, to, oh yeah, I always got your clothes once you and your fam grew out of them. Um, I'm pretty sure I still have some, but always loved that. Um, and yeah, you were really um, just the best, bestest friend to grow up with. Um, and my tallest friend, and I think you still are. Um, so yeah, cheers to that. I love you so much. Have the best birthday. I can't wait to see you again. Um, hopefully very, very, very soon. And yeah, know that I love you and I'm always there for you. Mwah! believe you're 30 um, and I'll be 30 soon too um, but we're sending you best wishes on your special day um, filling out those questions uh, that your lovely sister sent through three things that I love about you I love how kind you are how intelligent you are and how we can always have fun together even after spending uh, so many months and years apart um, my favorite moment together is definitely our Euro trip uh, in 2018, uh, I can still remember us uh, drinking margaritas the size of our heads on the alleyways of Lisbon in Portugal um, and how you've impacted my life. You've impacted my life in so many ways. I think from living it up in college on our three about to our Euro trip together, you've always been such a great friend um, and hoping we'll both be 
in the same city together soon. Miss you so much. Hope you have the best 30th birthday. Love you. Um, and see you okay, soon. Hey, Liv. I have sourced a location to film this video that is as similar and close to New Zealand as possible. So I hope you appreciate the set. And my uh, creative director here, he's eating sheep cow poo. Um, three favorite things that I love about you that um, are not just your gorgeous looks, fantastic cooking, etc., etc. Something a bit more meaningful. I would say the three greatest things are your positive energy, your smile. You have the biggest smile in the entire world, and the most beautiful smile, and your positive. Oh, I've already said your positive energy. Um, your ability to speak up. I feel like even if you don't know it, you have such confidence to speak up when you need to and stand up for others, etc. And I think that's such a positive asset. Uh, my favourite memory with you would have to be our trip to Spain. My mother is filming this, so I have to be careful with what is said. But the memories that go from the hostel room we had to urgently check out of, the Betty Caseum with the music festival and Ellie Goulding and us breaking the bank to stay in a five-star hotel we couldn't even make breakfast at, etc, etc. The precarious train trip, but I also won't go into details. I had the best time ever traveling with you in Spain and it was nice one in one time. And I forget what the third one was. But I think it going was going forward. What going forward? Was it a positive thing going forward or know. something? <laughs> um, something forget, for the future. I forget. But we might cut this and add that later. Three things I love most about Olivia. Um, it's hard to condense it, but I would say one, our shared um, joy of gut health chat. Um, and that she actually understands me. Two, um, her ability to be existential but and self-deprecating but hilarious and, like, dry at the same time. Um, and three, that she never forgets my birthday. Um, she sends me a cute little message or calls or texts or even sings a voice note every single year. Um, hasn't missed a birthday once and it means the world. So there's probably heaps more, but those three come to mind. Favourite memories with Livy um, are definitely travel related. Um, there's so many, but I would say highlights are having a bougie lunch together on Waiheke Island, um, exploring the back streets of Croatia, being in Split together, um, and her living in my bedroom in Berlin for a month, I think it was, um, and us just getting up to all sorts of naughty, fun things. Um, yeah, those would be my favourite memories. Um, the way Olivia has impacted my life is a really nice question. Um, I would have to say the trust and like enduring love that she has for her friends um, really creates like a beautiful safe space. And even if you haven't seen her for years, it's been coming up to three or four years since we've seen each other. Um, she still holds so much love and you can feel that and it radiates every time you talk. Um, so, yeah, I would say that. She's just an absolute dream of a friend um, and her ability to stay in contact and stay connected across the seas and across the years um, has meant everything. So, love you, Olivia. I can't wait to see you.
Hi, Lady Cat. I'm on shift right now at the hostel. Um, but I wanted to say I love you so much and happy birthday. And and you're going to crush it. And you're the best big sister ever. And I love you and I miss you. And I'm so sorry for being terrible at communicating. I love you so much. Um, three things I love about you. One, you're incredibly organized and down to earth. You always know what's going on. You always know like the right thing to do, the logical thing to do. Um, two, you're so loving and caring and you just care about endlessly, really. Um, even when I am terrible at communicating and terrible at being a good brother, you still find time to reach out and, and try your hardest. And I love you so much for that. And third one, you are so incredibly capable. You've basically been taking care of me and Georgia, realistically, um, for your entire life. You've basically been like a an adult since you were a child. And you, you, I hope you realize how incredible that is and how much we love you. We all love you so much. Um, favorite memory. My favorite memory is um, <laughs> there was one time where um, you guys told me I was adopted and I told you that was good because I wouldn't be related to you guys. It's my favorite. <laughs> it's, it's not my favorite memory. I'm kidding. But I hope that made you laugh. Um, my favorite memory, memory of you. Favorite memory. Uh, there's a lot. Also, I... I to have a terrible memory. Um, and I don't think I became conscious until the age of 15, but I remember how welcoming you were to let me play with like Jason and Alex on the car. I have a really distinct memory of us being in Croatia and looking at a drinks menu. And I was very young. Um, it was you might have been I'm not sure, I it was terrible. Um, and I looked at the drinks menu and there was a sex on the beach. It was the first time I ever saw that on a menu. Um, and you just laughed. And that's a memory in my head, it's a nice memory. Um, there was, um, we went to a theme park one, one time and there was a haunted house. And, and you offered to hold my hand and you held my hand. And that was really nice. Um, there's also us uh, on the Kepler track. Well, you had like the worst blisters the world's ever seen. Um, just singing and dancing and talking about everything and anything. And um, those, those, um, those five days really, really live in my nice memories, part of my brain. It was really fun. Also, you holding me down, and you and Georgia holding me down and putting lipstick on me. Yeah, that's, yeah, favorite, favorite memory. You're so caring and loving and organized and capable. And finally, one thing to encourage you. I think you worry too much. I think there's too many things that you're concerned about that could go wrong. It's always the what ifs. I think your brain is filled with what ifs. Um, and it's what makes you like the organized, driven, capable person that you are. It, was, it is what makes you as strong as you are. But at the same time, there is a balance. And I know it's hard to stop because it's how you've always been. So it's not much point in me saying stop worrying. It's like saying stop having a broken leg. But there are ways to deal with it. And I know you're doing that already. And I know your your analysis of all the what ifs and all the possibilities and the worrying and the planning is all from basically what's made you as strong as you are, as capable as you are, as organized and driven as you are. You are gorgeous and loving and and we all love you. <laughs> Happy birthday.
Happy birthday, Libby Cat! Oh, thinking of you and sending you so much love for your 30th birthday. Wow, how crazy. I can't even remember a time when I thought we would ever get to 30 years old. How? Oh, let's shush those. As you may be able to tell, I am in your old room that you lived in for six months with your best friend. Beans, say hi to Livy. Beansy, say happy birthday. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> um, so I wanted to do this so that you had a little pocket in your life that you can return to when you feel like you need to remember why you're loved and why you're so special and remember why we all love you so much. Um, so I asked everyone to give three things that they love about you. And my first thing is that you are so brave. And something that's come to me while I've been making this, this video is looking through the amazing adventures that you put yourself in, you know, the choice to go overseas and, you know, going to Beijing and all these big girl moves. And I think it's something that sometimes I overlook because maybe you're, you know, off there doing it, but you actually put yourself in such challenging positions, which I know is so hard for someone who's naturally shy. And I can only imagine how, yeah, how much courage you have to, even though it's tough, put yourself in such difficult and challenging positions so that you can grow. And even doing what you're doing now, deciding that, you know, where you want to be might not be where you want to be or what you want to do and who you're with. It's all big life decisions. And I'm so proud of you for making choices rather than just staying the same. And that's something that I really admire about you. And which leads me to the second thing that I admire about you is how caring you are. And the thing that's been present through this whole video is everyone says the same thing is that you are so empathetic and you care so much about the people around you and especially in our family I appreciate how much you keep us together and you make such an effort to make things special and to make us all feel like we're part of a family and I really love that so much and I only look forward to all the beautiful family times we'll have in the future and of course there's so many things the third thing what's the thing I love the most about you Mm. I think you're so unbelievably intelligent. I am in awe of how you you manage to take something like um you know a person on the street and take such a beautiful photo of them, or you know the things that you do with your work and your comms. Your mind is so active and so clever, and I love having big conversations with you about all the big things in life. Um, also, you're so funny. We have such a funny time, and I love that. One thing I love about us as well is that we're so different. And I think that when you were younger, it's harder. But as I get older, I realize that you're the person that I come to when I need help navigating a tough emotional situation, when I need help understanding what's going on. You are my rock, Livy Cat. You're my, yeah, you're the closest person I have in this life and someone that, you know, I feel so blessed to have. And... You know, we've spent so much time together. It's like we know each other inside out and it can almost be like looking at a a really like a, a mirror that's too clear sometimes, you know, because you're it's hard when someone knows you so well. They know all the good parts and all the bad parts. But I wanted to tell you that I love every little bit of you. I love you from the tip of your hairs to the bottom of your toes and I love you all the way in between. And I'm so blessed that you get to be my big sister and that we get to spend all of our lives together and we're so lucky and yeah I love that we're so different and that I get to learn from you and that yeah so different but so similar as well and yeah I just wanted you to know that I love you so much and memories oh my god I wrote them down but now I don't have it with me classic but I'm gonna rattle some off first of all um 
one of my earliest memories which is weird even though it's, I don't even we might have been older is like when we used to go to Italy and you and I would sneak out and climb onto the, those big rubbish heaps and find cigarettes and pretend to be Nancy and Bill Sykes and you'd be Nancy obviously because you're a classy lady and I'd be Bill Sykes and we'd like act that out um lots of fun in Mount Nicholson us having that little scooter gang with the Chapmans and those little books that we had and we write it and I think we tried our first cigarette together the Chapman cigarette and just general antics there like climbing on the big limestone boulders we just played so much together um what else I think um another memory is when we got obsessed with Paris Hilton and we just like we would just watch that all the time and us just like on the opposite side of our rooms just watching TV shows. Dad quickly comes in and we just like pretend and we just literally, I think we probably spent like a two years in total of our lives like sideways watching TV shows and that was really fun. We'd always like share and keep up to date with shows and stuff. Um, another really strong memory I have is when you first came to London when I was living here we got to live together and it was the first time we'd lived outside of the family together and I remember it just being so fucking fun and you coming with me on that date with Pierce and just making yummy food together and it was just such a joyful time it was like whoa we can be adults away from our family and really get along and have such a beautiful time um other beautiful memories I've loved having you in New Zealand it's been such a joy um to have you in the place that we're from and you know, have beautiful swims and lots of beautiful Christmases and mm, so many beautiful times, so many beautiful cuddles and so many good games. That was another thing I love about you is, yeah, your ability to make anything fun. You just make life more fun. You know, you want to, you just want to make it a vibe. And I love that about you. And I love your ability to make something just so much fun. Um, and when I came to stay with you in Sydney and we played like all those games with your flatmates, like those drinking games and... Mm. And of course when we went on our little trip to the Coromandel and we climbed up that bloody mountain in the morning and it was rainy but then we had the most beautiful sunrise and... Yeah, and the thing I want to encourage about you, I think it's just keep listening to your, keep listening to your intuition, you know? As hard as it is, it's always the way to go and I'm... I'm so proud of you for sticking to the things that you want and the things that you know and mm, I just wish for you everything, everything you want in this life and more and all of the beautiful blessings that you deserve because you're such a beautiful person through and through Livy and our family is so lucky to have you and mine might be the longest video of them all. <laughs> maybe not, just, just mums, maybe longer. <laughs> I love you so much and I'm thinking of you here and sending you all my love. Happy birthday to my beautiful, beautiful 30-year-old daughter, Olivia Celeste Jasmine Shine Bartlett. I am sending you lot, lots of love from a hot and humid Hong Kong afternoon uh, where the sky is languid and the temperature heavy. But my heart is full as I send you my love for your 30th birthday. So what are my three favorite things about you? One, your empathy. I think, I believe you have a very high level of emotional intelligence. You have an ability to listen and understand a situation or conversation and get to the heart of uh, an issue compassionately. Uh, you're, you are a people person despite being uh, shy and often uh, would prefer to be in the background rather than in the foreground, but it gives you an ability to perceive people's behaviour in a way that other people don't uh, necessarily have. Uh, so I admire that about you greatly. The second favourite thing is your calmness and your serenity. You have, as I've come to understand, uh, spending a lot of time with you, not just growing up, but now as an adult, you have a need for peace and quiet. And even though you're sociable and you like people, you 
and there is a lot of shines and Bartlett's to like and hang out with, that is for sure. Um, but you uh, nevertheless exude a calmness and a serenity in those social situations, which is also very uh, beautiful. So the third thing is your inner strength. And I see this in countless ways, particularly now while you are coming up to the age of 30 and it's a sort of a crossroads for most people, women and women in particular. And I believe that you have um, great inner strength and you are a strong woman and your, with your strength and your creative abilities, of which you have plenty, and I'll come to those in a minute, you, you have an inner core that I believe will carry you through this 30th year and for the next 30 years and 30 years beyond that. You know what's right for you or you are working out what's right for you and that is a very good and positive thing and something that I, uh, that I respect. Uh, it's a strength that comes from the long line of strong women in our family and uh, I believe that you will always uh, have the confidence and ability to do what you believe is right for you and that's very important. So hold that tight and hold that dear to you and it will give you um, a lot of courage as you go forward in life. Now, memories. Well, there are just so many memories <laughs> about you. Your birth was very early. It was um, a bit um, shocking for uh, both myself and Jeremy, but uh, we cared for you instantly and intensely from the moment you were born. And we'll never stop. We'll never stop doing that. So from then on, you became a, the most beautiful uh, little girl with pouncy hair, um, a lovely little sparkling but shy personality. Uh, and when Georgie came along, you were thick as thieves and uh, would tag team each other. And I've just got so many, fo so many photographic memories of you two in Seven Road, splashing water around, going in and out of the doll's house. Uh, and then when we moved to, oh, and prancing around in my clothes up there, uh, getting my clothes on and my heels and prancing around up there. And then when we moved to Mount Nicholson, that was just a playground of adventure. And there were lots of kids for you, you and your uh, sister. And then when fin Finsky came along for you to play with and explore and hang out with. So it was a much more normal sort of existence because it was sociable with lots of other children. I think it was a wonderful part of your life, wonderful time of your life. And your days at peak school, I believe, were very happy. You made lots of long-term friends there, friends that you are lucky now to have even as an adult now, and I'm sure you will have for the rest of your life. That's very admirable. And that's a, that's a wonderful thing to, have, to, to know that people who knew you as a little girl, as we did, still now know you as adults. That's wonderful. Uh, and then, of course, all the wonderful holidays that we had. Our um, sailing holidays in Croatia, our Italian holiday, or oh, even earlier, our Italian holidays. Due gelate, uh, per favore, e una cona, poma frera. Lots of wonderful, wonderful little memories that, um, that that I have of, of those wonderful holidays that we had together when you were a lovely little darling, darling girl prancing around in forests and, uh, and exploring. And then later on, um, when you became, you know, a young, a young, a young woman, holidays uh, that we did together, um, Luang Prabang, that funny escapade in the tailor shop that we were being ripped off and we had to go back and try and get our, our deposit and thought we were going to be chased down the street by bandits. Um, and, uh, and then, of course, wonderful trip to India and all of that. And all the time, I, I think we've, well, I've certainly been able to see, and I'm sure Papa feels the same, that 
you know, you have a, apart from your inner strength, you have a, you have a great creative ability. Uh, maybe you don't believe in yourself enough in that regard, but you have great creative ability. And you have become sort of by default the, you know, the wider family's de facto photographer. That's maybe something that in your 30th year you can explore and think about whether you want to do um, more of that on a sort of semi, semi side hustle, you know, commercial basis, because you're obviously very good at it. And I think you're good at it because you have the ability to perceive and deal with people in a very calm, gentle manner and people respond to that. And that's important when you are taking obviously people's photographs. So I'd love to see you explore that um, a little bit more in your life. And maybe this is the year to do it. Um, I hope so. Uh, anyway, those, those are some of the, some of the myriad memories that, that, that I have. Um, and oh, the other one, one really important thing is Christmas. I love the way that you love Christmas as much as I do. And I think that's terribly important because Christmas is all about us being together and making it as Christmassy as we, as we possibly can and having beautiful, beautiful brunch and breakfast and champagne and all being together and having a bit of mayhem, um, but a bit of loving, bit of fighting, bit of, bit of everything else, but having a great time. You are, um, you are my, you are my darling Olivia Celeste. I love you with all my heart. And I'm sending love to you. Oh, sorry. I'm sending love to you across the seas. And I wish I was there for your 30th birthday, but I will be there in spirit. And next time we see each other, we're gonna have a wonderful big party. Don't worry. Uh, so I'm wishing you the happiest, happiest 30th birthday. Be strong, believe in yourself, have the confidence in yourself and know that you are very much loved and you are a beautiful, beautiful person. Lots of love, your mama. Is that camera rolling? Yes. Okay, but everything's off the record, right? Yes. Now, Siggy, you've agreed to give a short interview to help celebrate Libby's birthday, is that right? Watching it for me. Pardon? Moolah, moolah. What about some worms? All right, that'll do. Okay, Siggy, can you tell us a bit about your background? Well, I was a barrow boy in the East End, wasn't I? Now and then I'd get a job as a lookout when the geezers were on a bank job. Tidy earners those jobs were. Yeah, those were the days. And were you paid for that? Oh, I was well paid. Don't you mind about that. And what were you paid in? Earwigs. Millipedes fly larvae, you know, only the top shelf stuff, the creme de la creme. And how did you meet Livy? Well, it was animal trafficking, wasn't it? I was kidnapped, put in a box, box gets thrown into a van, and before I know it, I'm spirited down to the city of Lyon in France and put on display in a toy shop. Cruelty don't begin to describe it. A net minute, a Kiwi geezer on holiday from Hong Kong takes a shine to me and buys me as a companion for his little girl. You mean as a toy? No, I mean as a companion on equal footing. And that girl was uh, Olivia? Yeah. And how did you get on with Olivia? Well, not well at first. She was too smoochy for my tastes. I mean, I'm edgy and born on the mean streets. But gradually, she began to respect me as a sort of spiritual guide. And I like to think that we came to care for each other in a sort of master pupil type of way. I see. And what sort of things were you trying to guide Livy on? Well, 
mainly it was about the importance of being nocturnal and she became really really amazingly good at that also about using hedges as a source of cover from, and protection from dogs but there were no hedges in Hong Kong unfortunately and also of course the importance of good diet she was eating some shocking stuff before she met me and I got her away from all those carbs and on to uh, intermittent fasting but of course with, uh, with insect protein only if it's not too painful for you perhaps you can share with, her, with us the, the time when you and Livy fell out and parted ways it was those fucking rabbits sorry everything was fine until those fucking rabbits turned up Bosley was Livy's rabbit and Brizzly was George's rabbit oh Bosley was fluffy and cuddly all right not spiky like me but he was a complete ponce talked all la -de da whereas I'm not one for small talk I'm more a hedgehog of action and just like that Livy transferred her affections to Bosley I was heartbroken I got tossed into a box and put up high and, and worse still one of the other inhabitants tossed into the box was Crypta, the boa constrictor a boa fucking constrictor the natural sworn enemy and predator of the hedgehog I don't know if you've ever been in a box up high but if you've ever been in a box up high you'll know that cries for help are muffled a full throated, throated cry for help from inside a box up high ends up sounding like Hew! to the outside world it was a daily battle with that snake until I escaped with the help of the old china plate my good mate wingy doper mentally scarred I was by that box time are there any favourite memories of Livy you'd like to share? well it would have to be late nights down at Geronimo's shop bar in Lang Kwai Fong and sharing plates of worms of course and finally I couldn't find Bosley the rabbit to interview him um, any idea where Bosley is now? I didn't burn him. Uh, no, 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 no one knows where Bosley is and I'm not saying a word. But yeah, he got his just desserts. Cray twins, East End style. Oh yeah, big time. Yeah. Have you got a spare Siggy? Da 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 boom boom da 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 boom boom da 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 boom boom da 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 boom boom da 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 boom boom da 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 boom boom da 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 boom boom da 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 boom boom da 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 boom boom da 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 da
Lost it, we'll 